Renewless has apologized uh, to Namibia for colonial areas colonial era slaughter of up to about 80,000 people when the German troops put down an uprising. It's uh, offered Germany, that is, 1.3 billion euro to aid in the reconstruction and development. The killings uh, are came during the colonial era when German troops stamped out, as we said, an uprising in Namibia by almost wiping out two um, ethnic groups. And in France earlier this week, the government also admitted that uh, the government uh, there bears responsibility for the 1994 genocide in Rwanda. We are joined now to talk about what happened in Namibia by Nitumbo Nandi Daitra, who is Namibia's Deputy Prime Minister, Minister of International Relations and Corporations. Thank you so much for joining us, Minister. Uh, uh, can you confirm these latest developments and has there been any more concrete discussions beyond this admission? Yeah, uh, w w what I can tell you, uh, the Indian Parliament sometimes back uh, discusses the issue and then uh, passed a motion which was asking three things that Germany must uh, recognize or accept that they have committed genocide in Namibia and uh, they should apologize and pay reparation. Uh, that motion was passed in the Namibian parliament and then referred to the government for execution. Uh, that's why for the past five years, the Namibian government and the German government through their invoice and the technical committee have been engaging. Mm. Yes, some um, uh, progress has been achieved. And I want to inform you that in Namibia we have uh, systems and we have procedures. And because uh, that motion was passed in the National Assembly, which means the Namibian parliament, then the government will make an official announcement in the parliament our parliament has been on recess, but it will be resuming next week. And the prime minister, who is the head of the government business in parliament, is going to inform the nation through parliament okay. as to how far we have gone with that engagement with the Germans. Minister, you have said that it obviously has been a long drawn process, about five years, but there are critics who are asking the question, why now, who are questioning the timing, uh, some are even cynical enough to say that they know that Europe sees African African nations as developing nations. That this may be the reason behind wanting to pay reparations now. What are your thoughts around this? Yeah. Anyway, everything has its time. But uh, as I say that, uh, I can only add to say that uh, once the Namibian nation is officially informed. Uh, through the institution that has passed the motion, should there be anything that need clarification, as a Minister of International Relations and Cooperation, I'll be able to give such explanations. Hmm. But what are your views around the cynicism? Uh, all, all those things, I'll be able to understand them. Once the official position of official report has been given by the government, uh, currently now it's all uh, things that people are saying. Okay. However, they are not responding to the official position. All and right. when that is happening, I will then be able to explain. Okay, so let's look at what actually happened. The killings in the Kalahari Desert. Scholars estimate that 80% of the Nama and Herrera people were killed at uh, that time. So what exactly is Germany admitting to have done? Yeah, and uh, th th those are the details. Because uh, the Prime Minister will give you how the whole process has started and where we are and uh, wha what is going to be the way forward on the whole thing. So all those things are going to be explained. And I will just say that uh, should there be a need for further explanation after the, the, the prime minister addressed the parliament, then uh, uh, the minister of international relations or the minister 
will be able to give such uh, further information. Well, let's talk about the sentiments within the country. This is not the first time the issue of reparations has arisen. This is not the first time that different uh, groupings uh, have spoken out about what they think actually happened and should happen. We understand that some traditional leaders believe that reparations in this form is not enough, that the discussion should focus on land and land distribution. What are your views? Yeah, but, but uh, I, I don't know because uh, I'm saying uh, the government's full report will be done by the prime minister in parliament. And uh, it's only when uh, the questions you are asking are not clarified, then we'll be able to clarify them further. But what is the position of the Namibian government? Does the Namibian government not have that a position? Is now the position uh, that is now what is going to be reported. And that is what they say, that because of the, the motion was passed in the Namibian parliament, the Namibian nation will be informed through the national pa the, the, the parliament, which is the national council, and that is going to happen tomorrow. I mean, uh, this coming week, not tomorrow. Tomorrow is a Sunday. So are you saying you are in no position to discuss at all the contents of the discussions, what has been a source because of disagreement the official, in the past? The official, the official uh, announcement, the official information, it's agreed, it's a set of procedure in Namibia, and that is going to be followed. Yes, and Minister. once that happened... Are you saying you are anything, unable to share any information? Please, this is yes, what we're trying to understand. Stage, yes, yes. So you so can't speak to, to us, basically. The, until the nation is officially informed. Okay, thank you very much for that clarification. Yes. So we did try to get details, as you've heard, from uh, the Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of International Relations and Cooperation in Namibia. That's uh, Deputy Minister Nitumbo Nandine Daitwa. She says she can't answer any questions, and any questions that may arise will be dealt with by the Namibian Parliament, which is currently in recess. So uh, she really can't have any discussion.